All right, boys, welcome. So, continuing from, remember when I was testing out the gunslinger, you know, the cycles and gunslinger builds and like what's going to happen after the PTR change? Every day after the PTR about, oh, hey, what do you think about the gunsling gunslinger change? What do you think about the gunslinger change, etc. And I said, hey, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to make sure I'll give you guys the right information. And I double check it with, uh, you know, a good gunslinger prayer like Lust Boy to go back and forth so that we have uh, much richer uh, information for you guys, okay? You know, since Lost Boy is here right now, let's talk about TTH first. So, Lost Boy, do you have the chart that you wanted to look? Uh, yeah, sure. I can give you a link. Check this out, chat. So, this is the stuff that I talked about, and uh, Lost Boy made it a really good comparison for it. We tested it out with all the uh, like cycles and stuff. Let's start it from the very beginning by talking about... NA's build perspective. For example, NA, you guys are you guys build limit is a 97 stone, which is a 53 and a 1. Anything below that, they're all going to be about the same, that's what I have said. And what we're going to do is base it off of top tier builds because let's say in the future you guys going to get the ancient accessories, 53s and a 1 is going to be more possible for majority of the users. Therefore, you can have like a new build that you guys are upgrading into, okay? Uh, let's talk about TTH first. This 8 and 16, what does this mean? Is it the, um, Third like, rankings. but w the number 8 and number 16, is there a difference? Like, as in, oh, yeah. 15 <sighs> second, right? No, 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 uh, look at the right side. They're parsing of 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Basically, this is rank 8 for parsing of 2 minutes and rank 16 for parsing 15 seconds? Yep. That's okay. Correct. So as for TTH, let's go over some builds real quick. So we have Time to Hunt 3, Adrenaline 3 with Nightmare, right? Time to Hunt 3, Adrenaline 3 with Salvation. Obviously, when you have a Nightmare version, this is what? Is this Spec Crit? Yeah, there is. Uh, or is it Spec Crit uh, unless you are running Hallucination? Yeah. So when you have Hallucination, you Swift. Advantage position for Time to Hunt, the DPS is condensed. For example, you notice this as a number one over here. The reason why this does the most damage is because you have the rain of bullet, you have the meteor stream, you have this, you have the grenade, and their main skill is the rifle skills. These four. And after you guys know that after the change of the gunslinger, the focus shot, the perfect shot, has been buffed to a point where focus shot is shorter. Uh, perfect shot, it does more divided damage along the whole fight. So within this case, when we say time to hunt three and an adrenaline three, this is with level one peacemaker, right? Lost boy. Yeah, there are yeah, yeah. One. So yeah, this is peacemaker one, as in this is a five threes and a one. And when I was testing before, I've said that p the time to hunt is technically better if you have a nine seven stone in America, right? American version five three five threes and a one is the the highest build that you can get. And TTH is actually the highest ceiling because it's because it seems like in terms of parsing on 15 seconds, it's the highest. And the reason why is because the DPS condensed. And if parsing 15 seconds is very important, is because the three bubble is 16 seconds. So if you can actually land all your skills within 15 seconds, you have an advantage over a class that can't do that. Conclusion for time to hunt three, adrenaline three, and then you have level one on uh, Peacemaker. That is the highest ceiling that you guys can get get to build instead of PM if you want that, if you guys happen to have a 9-7 stone on a gunslinger. There's not that much to talk about because you have this, these are all 7M because we're not going to talk about 6M at all because 6M is a budget build and that just does less damage for more comfort. By the way, for those of you just listening in are confused about what M stands for, it's mastering as in like mastering either 7 skills or 6 skills. If you master seven skills, obviously you're going to have seven damage gems. So Lustboy, you think you have like a summary for like TTH? Okay. Um, for TTH, <clears throat> they usually do a little bit less of damage, a little bit less of the like, two minute parsing. What he has said for 15 second parsing is super important. So for example, this is a this is a timeline here, right? So let's say this box is DR mode, and this is like an open area for DPS, the red area. Right, classes that does consistent damage, like let's say a PM is also counted as well because she has a lot more skills. Let's say like a transformation class, like a scouter or shadow hunter, they do consistent damage like this, like an up up graph like that, like a linear increase in up graph. Right, 
classes like Surge Deathblade is a really good example because Surge Deathblade is just one, like one to two skills, right? They do a big damage, and then they do a flat, and then they do a big damage again. It's a burst meta. So if you happen to be in a DR standpoint, burst classes tend to have an upper hand because they do big damage, right? And then they do flat, and they do big damage again, overall having more DPS than consistent DPS classes because all classes, they do, you know, they do like that. And then at DR, they're going to be flat, and then they're going to be linear damage again. That's how... That's how uh, most of the time, burst classes are in an upper advantage. The consistent DPS classes to catch up is to hope that these guys miss. So if, he, if these guys, let's say, miss this surge, it's zero, right? It's almost zero. It's like almost this much. And then, you know, hitting DR, and then you hit surge to catch up. So from this point on, why is TTA so good? Because at this 15 second parks, they can do the most damage with the rifle skills. But if the parsing is this high and having the number one out of every single particular peacemaker or uh, gunslinger build within 15 seconds, you're also in three bubble range, right? The nine second Adrofin range, can you rotate once? I think you can put in uh, every four skills, but yeah. probably not the handguns. Oh, okay. Fitting all that main major skills in is a big point. It's a it's a big deal in a in a nine second adrophin range. Considering the nine seconds and the three bubble sixteen second range, this fifteen second parse is very important. And the fact that uh, you know his conclusion of this particular build, time to hunt adrenaline three salvation spec crit has the highest parse due to the nature of this uh, particular build. It makes it better. Swiftness one is lower, but you have swiftness. Therefore, if you have swiftness, what does happen? You're comfier. You have more cooldown. Therefore, you can have less jam. So, uh, Lost Boy, like, let's say if you have the swiftness build, what are the what is the minimum level gem that you can actually get? Like, is it sevens or nines? It uh, doesn't matter. Higher is better. Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter. Higher is better. It just it's just comfier if it's higher, right? Yep. What about when you are in salvation for spec crit? Uh, what do about you do you do you need higher level gems? Uh, just higher is better. There's no threshold or anything. Oh, there's no threshold or anything. Okay. In my point of view, it feels like if you have a level 7 gem or lower, I think Hallucination build is going to be much better. But if you have a higher level gem, I think they should do spec crit version of the uh, Salvation build. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Okay. That's what, I, that's what I think, Chad. And then that's the thought process of that you guys should have when you're thinking about it. So you notice here this is 7M and this is 6M over here. They use quick recharge room because if whenever quick re recharge room procs, your rifle skills rotate faster. Okay. Now you have these kind of here. Now for TTH, I think that's about it. Do you think I'm missing something? TTH against PM is uh, usually based on party synergy because mm -hmm. let's say if you don't have any party synergy mm -hmm. on your party peacemaker, you have to use your own party synergy before you use rifle skills and just. Oh, focus. for TTH? Yeah, hope for the best. And it usually oh, works. Oh, shit. Okay. Because of the 45% uh, increase, right? Yeah. The 45% oh, yeah. crit increase for the class engraving. And this impacts Awakening now, chat, which is which is huge. So TTA seems to be really nice now. Really nice. Considering, like, having number one in the spot, even if they're missing one engraving. TTA change is uh, really good at 15 seconds parsing, but not really in... Wrong run. So it's better because higher ceiling you get, you go to cutscenes much, much, much faster. Long run, like let's say in a try phase, I feel that like PM just does more damage overall. I mean, if you just have a certain build, but TTH is less, it's like more room for mistakes. You will generally do better because the parsing is much better. You're already sitting on the 85 to 90% of crit chance. If you have too much crit uh, synergy on your party, um, mm -hmm. you actually do. Ah, so I, so this is why I guess in the long run, if you have a 9-7 stone, this spec crit over here, time to adrenaline 3, uh, peacemaker 1 with salvation, spec crit seems to be a really good choice uh, for, for players who are looking into uh, high ceiling, a big, number a big number build. But once you get to ancient, 9-7 is kind of useless for TTH. True. <laughs> That's why if you have a 9-7 stone, I always recommend the uh, Peacemaker 3 Adrenaline 2 build. But the fact that not many people are going to have 9-7 stone, let's be real, chat. But if you want to play the highest ceiling with 
without the pain of 9-7 stone, TTA seems to be a really good choice uh, out of all builds that you can ever have. Also, another thing I wanted to uh, hear your thoughts on, Lost Boy, is... Uh, so people keep been asking me about high swiftness TTH build. What do you think about that build? So I have one actually on my roster. Swift TTH technically does more damage in Trixion and it can do more damage in real rate as well. If mm -hmm. uh, execution phase gets longer. But mm, otherwise execution does, phase longer. Uh, yeah, but otherwise it does uh so little damage. And I'm assuming, so basically more effort of button pressing with the about the same or less uh, result. That's how I kind of look into. Swiftnet TCH, again, the chart that I showed you guys, the handy handy dance chart, it's not a burst. It's more of like that, the linear, because you're rotating so many more skills. Uh, so you need to like, so it kind of falls more into a, a consistent damage. But if you have the burst one, you burst in, go cutscene, burst, cutscene, burst, cutscene, burst, cutscene. Burst is also pretty good because if you burst, you can just walk around and focus on dodging more, chat. Uh, so there's that advantage too. So you don't have to like push and try to do DPS, play aggressive, and then you get hit all of a sudden. That's why burst classes do have some form of advantage there. Burst versus consistent, like it's always been like, you know, personal preference range, but that's how the usual game works. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys know it by now, but I just keep playing, you know, playing the game. I think that concludes the TTH. I think we covered everything. Um... So as for skills, you have Bullet Rain, uh, Meteor, and then you have the, uh, was it, the Grenade? Yeah, AT Grenade. Right. Yep, the AT Grenade, that's about it. And then you rotate, I think I've answered everything. I think this covers everything that my chat has ever asked uh, uh, during my streams uh, to one video. Or unless, is there anything else to talk about, uh, Lost Boy? Not really. Okay, cool. Now let's talk about PM chat. While we have Lustboy here, because this is the actual, the full list. Let's go over uh, what I want to do first, so that you guys have a good reference point. I have a Peacemaker 3 Adrenaline 2, uh, which is the top build for 9-7 stone. And I've been testing out these three skills. Like, so let's say if you have Bullet Rain, Perfect Shot, and Shotgun Rapid Fire, your Life Absorption needs to be level 1. What does that mean? It's in Quick Step, this thing where it increases your attack speed by 13.8% at level five. If it's level one, it goes up by 5%. The reason being is you ran out of tripods. <laughs> if, you, if you have shotgun rapid fire, it has three tripods. Rate of bullet, three tripods. It's over 18, so you have to put down life absorption to level one uh, in order for you to actually uh, rotate these rain of bullet and shotgun rapid fire skills. And honestly, in my opinion, I don't want to drop Life Absorption uh, because I'm already slow as it is with crit spec, uh, with high spec, and I have I literally have no swiftness except my bracelet. I kind of don't want to lose that. And also shotgun rapid fire was the thing that we talked about when Lust Boy kind of joined uh, while I was testing stuff. So shotgun rapid fire, this particular skill, some people really hate this. And uh, those of you guys hate this, you can type in chat uh, who really hates Shotgun Rapid Fire. Um, I wanted to add it, and then for Peacemaker 3, this is what I said too. If you have Peacemaker 3, the Shotgun ra shotgun damage increased by 15% because of the engraving itself. Therefore, I thought Shotgun Rapid Fire does the most damage. However, even at Peacemaker 3, Shotgun Rapid Fire damage and Rain of Bullet damage is the same, correct? Uh, this is correct, Lost Boy, right? Because you said the... When I was testing it out, uh, PS and SRF are about the same. Oh, PS. Yeah. What about is, the uh, What about the Rain of Bullet and SRF? Yeah, or, or is the highest? Okay. Uh, Rain of Bullet, right? Uh yes. Bird yeah. Rain in English. Yeah. Oh, Bullet Rain. Yeah, BRB. Okay. It's backwards. For Bullet Rain being the highest and having the uh, shortest cooldown, this skill is probably the best for longer parses. So uh, with all those stuff included, I thought Shotgun Rapid Fire had to be mandatory, but apparently it wasn't. So you can actually drop that. And it seems like the number one for two minute parse is Bullet Rain, Perfect Shot, uh, Catastrophe for Nightmare. But let's say if you go Salvation, since it goes a little bit quicker, uh, this is number three because we can actually finish the cycle very, very fast due to the increased in attack speed. 
the number five, no, there's like number five, number four, the two minute parses. It seems like these are pretty similar. Yeah, they're all, uh, all about the same. I think. Yeah, they're they, all about the same. I think they should be decided based on how comfortable you can run the Hatashropi in real race, I think. Mm. Like the Eternal Calamity. Oh, this is with Eternal Calamity, right? Yeah. So, Chad, the difference between the Eternal Calamity is this one. This this tripod versus this tripod. This tripod, the problem with this tripod is this has a couple of ticks, right? Three ticks. You need to land all that three ticks, right? One, two, three, right? I mean, you can switch it to uh, shotgun if you want, if you want that to crit. For example, if I do this and switch to shotgun, it is uh, the additional crit is uh, impacted, right? So the problem with this is, is uh, when boss moves, this never, this never lands. If the boss moves, <laughs> every time I see, it. for example, if I play uh, the Agasha boss or let's say clown, you you use this skill, and then the clown goes like whoop whoop. And then you just dodge everything. That's what he does. So it's kind of smooth, smooth skill. But you know, I, I I try to dodge away from this particular uh was it uh catastrophe skill, but I guess you can't because the option is, you know, it's always there because you can't be using this one. So it's a, pre a preference and then it's also based on how you can land your skills. Actually, I got to land like one or two ticks of uh kata because the order I did was a sharpshooter, zero buck shot, buck shot, target down, and like one or two ticks up, kata. Mmm. That's the uh, uh, the rotation. Yeah, for 15 seconds. So this would be the. So after you rotate everything, and then you. And this only two ticks landed. Yeah, one or two. Mmm. Okay. Uh, and this. Basically, why the. Every. 15 seconds pass with the uh, catastrophe had a uh, higher ranking because I got to squeeze in. The after looking at this, the verdict here for the highest ceiling is if you want life absorption, I think you would need to choose either of these two. Bullet rain is just better than SRF in terms of uh, comfiness, and SRF is just shorter, and then you get to rotate it much longer. But in terms of two, like if you're parsing two minutes. The bullet rain should be the another option. I like how the chat just said, doesn't this all just say preference? Which is very important to make this actual video and say this is all preference because uh people are fighting about which is better or not, right? This is this literally shows that this is preference. This is obviously stronger than this, right? And then you have this stronger than any of like the 6M or like like for uh, for this one, this is better than 6M and then Let's say you got five three, right? It's all it's all preference. It's just that you need to choose skills based on what you want to do. If it's if there is a significant difference and to show which is better, it would have shown here by now, right? But also, uh, what chat said is SRF. What about SRF BR catastrophe? The reason why we had to put in perfect shot is because perfect shot got buffed. Uh, it's almost mandatory to put it in. It does uh, so much damage now. It does so much damage now. Um, so you have to have perfect shot in, and, and and by ranking of damage, everything else is you have a choice between. You have a choice between uh, bullet rain, per, uh, shotgun rapid fire, and catastrophe. These three are the uh, preference range now, but now you have an easier choice of these four skills: main DPS skills, and then perfect shot together as a fifth. And then your six and seven skill needs to be two out of these three, chat. Two out of these three. B bullet rain, shotgun rapid fire, and then catastrophe. That's why we tested a bunch of parses for the combination of which we should use. What do you think the uh, verdict is here for uh, Peacemaker and Adrenaline? In terms, of, mm -hmm. in terms of damage, uh, if you want to be a complete DPS Goblin, uh, you have to put Blood Rain, PS, and just between Kata or SRF. Yep. Okay. DPS Goblin. You heard him, chat. You heard him. If you want to be a DPS Goblin, Bullet uh, Rain and Perfect Shot. If you have Peacemaker 1, uh, just put Kata. Peacemaker 3, just put... I guess Peacemaker 3 is kind of preference-based. Yeah, same thing. This is These two are same thing. 
If you use SRF, your life absorption needs to be level one. So that, that's the difference. So the filtering is this. If you have Peacemaker 3 or Peacemaker 1, doesn't matter because your adrenaline is 1 or adrenaline 3, right? Uh, you're going to have Bullet Rain, Perfect Shot, and then you have a choice between Catastrophe and Shotgun Rapid Fire. If you're going to use Shotgun Rapid Fire, your life absorption is going to be level 1. If you think that's, if you think that's smoke, just take Catastrophe. That's the filtering. If you don't want the smogeness and speed, take Catastrophe. And if you go, oh, life absorption 1 is not that bad after parsing it a little bit, I think it's okay. Then you take SRF. Yeah, cool. also, um, people have to be aware that this parsing was done with the uh, eternal calamity. Parsing is done with the eternal calamity. As in, uh, landing the additional ticks. Landing the additional ticks, which is almost... This is actually really hard to land. I mean, I'm pretty sure most people have thought that way too. As all this is crit spec, Chad. There's no swiftness. Uh... That's what I do. Uh, and again, as for every single DPS class, every single class in this game, if you add swiftness, if you add comfiness, you're supposed to do less damage uh, because you're adding comfiness. Therefore, you can actually execute your skills easier. Therefore, you can land more skills to have an advantage over a person who has a harder build, right? Harder build, which is harder to land and harder to maneuver. That's the advantage, right? That's why sometimes you do more damage if your build is comfier because you generally play better uh, playing a comfier build. But as for Gunslinger, uh, everyone's moving away from Swiftness because uh, the cooldown can be covered by higher level gem. And movement spells, all this stuff could be covered by life absorption and yearning and like food buffs, like, like uh, feasts. Okay, now uh for those for the next topic uh for talking about five threes uh this is adrenaline two and peacemaker one five three with peacemaker five uh peacemaker three uh five three with peacemaker three versus like you know peacemaker one level adrenaline two to me this is like from this point on i think they're all about the same and they're all like budget builds uh for example uh some of you guys in chat ask like, hey, Albert, I have Peacemaker 1, Adrenaline 2, and a 4-3. Should I switch to PM uh, Peacemaker 3 and uh, for a 5-3? And my answer is, I don't. I think it's a waste of payons and waste of gold to do a side grade. Uh, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys uh, agree with that. So whatever build that you have in terms of engraving, you don't need to switch. You just need to switch the skills up a little bit, as in putting more on uh, focusing on the perfect shot and the rain of bullet, and then the two choices, catastrophe and shotgun rapid fire. Do you think that's okay for that uh, summary, Lost Boy, for five threes? Mm, yep. Okay, cool. Anything else? What about five three on time to hunt? What do you think about that? I'll just put the Azure in there in one rubber rower. Mm, and then put PM, right? Because uh, PM increases the damage for rifles, yep. right? So it would be uh, Time to Hunt 3, Adrenaline 2, and then Peacemaker 1. Yeah, because you have a lot of crit anyway. So you guys heard that, right? So this the 5-3 the five, five, version of this Time to Hunt would be Adrenaline 2, and then Peacemaker 1. 5-3s and a 2-1. Uh, 4-3s and a 2-1. Uh, so anything below that, it's, a, it's all budget bill. So whatever you have, no need to panic. Uh, whatever you have is good. Just switch up the skills a little bit, a little bit, to adjust to the PTR change. And those of you who are, this is the purpose of you guys giving having like a dream build, right? This is the dream builds, and this is the more realistic dream build that you're going to have an upgrade in the future with ancient accessories. And these are all lined up here, and the back here, and then also another dream build that you can uh, that is uh, doable, which is a TTH build, the highest ceiling. Uh, that for a five threes and a one, which I think so because of the sheer advantage position for having a 15 second uh, burst window. Having the highest 15 second burst window is really good. And TTH is actually much easier uh, than PM. Yeah, TTH is much, TTH is, is much, much, much easier uh, than PM. So yeah. uh, f for, for that advantage itself, your performance in a rate is going to be much better compared to people who are uh, doing PM. But if you guys are really interested in doing the top damages, like you just need the 9-7 stone and then maybe you can practice the 3 or the 1 over here. Uh, 
to rotate accordingly. And for, let's say you guys are upgrading your build. If you have a really good accessory, like high quality Peacemaker 5 accessory, right? 5-3 for Peacemaker 5. I would, I would do this build for Adrenaline 3. Uh, if you happen to have a shitty accessory uh, for Peacemaker 5, uh, might as well buy a new one and then go for Peacemaker 3. That's what I think. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong, but it's it's everyone has different uh, situations because I don't know what accessories you guys have. I don't know what uh, particular combat stats you guys have. And I don't know what the thought process of what you guys have for uh, what what do I want more, right? Uh, what, what kind of standards you got? Hope you guys understood that. Okay, cool. Is there anything else we can talk about? Uh, I thought I was going to show you some, like, a gameplay, but I don't think we really need to because we have the chart here already. Uh, that really answers every everyone's question that I've seen for the past uh, two weeks. Um, what do you think, Lost Boy? Is there anything else that we can talk about? Kind of talked about it in disclaimer, but I really mm -hmm. hope people don't use this chart to... Uh, Fight? Like yeah, so <laughs> the, the example size is really small. It is yeah, the example size is extremely small. That's true. It's only like couple parses. Yeah, you cannot use it as a. Don't worry, lost standard. boy. Don't worry, lost boy. Uh, so if you guys, if you guys think about all this stuff, this is uh, uh put it on me, chat. Don't put it on lost boy. <laughs> But I think the one that we wanted to uh, cover is completely done. And I got my answer, Chad. I got my answer. I'm going to switch my SRF to uh, Bullet Rain. Uh, and so my skill, my sub-skill choice is going to be Bullet Rain, Perfect Shot, and uh, Catastrophe with Life Assortion Level 5. That's what I'm going to be. Okay, cool. Um, um, yeah, anything else? Also, one one thing good, uh, good about Catastrophe is... Uh, it takes one less Garin, since you kind of have to use Garin on SRF. Oh yeah, you're right. One less, you have a rune advantage too, if you use SRF, right? Because you don't, this, SRF doesn't use runes at all. And and SRF uses, SRF needs a Gailwin rune because it's so slow. So since you're not using SRF, but you move this to, so what would it be? So you move it to bullet rain, um, and then you have focus, Target down, you actually don't need it either, but I just have it there. Uh... Yeah, speaking of Garwin, uh, I see a lot of consumers use Garwin on target down and sometimes even catastrophe, but it actually doesn't. It doesn't increase. do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, because it's a, it's a, what do you call it? Um, it's it's, ca it's basically casting, so it doesn't really impact it. It feels slow because your attack speed is different. I think that's what it is. All right, check this out. Looks about the same to me. <laughs> the far right is a uh, Gilwind. Uh, far left is a uh, legendary Gilwind. Far right is a uh, Norun. It's like do do do. No, Garin uh, increased the animation of the sitting sitting down, the sitting down animation, mm. and it doesn't increase the attack speed between the shots. Mm. Let's summarize it up, chat. Um, a couple days ago, I tested this out because Gunslinger is one of my main main characters that I really like playing, uh, and I have the top build for it. Uh, so after the PTR change, Perfect Shot has been upgraded like to a lot of damage. So I was parsing a bunch of different styles of the uh, skill combinations. For example, like I said, Dual Buckshot, Sharpshooter, Target Down, Focus Shot is a main DPS skill that you must have. Um, and then you have a choice between Shotgun Rapid Fire, uh, Bullet Rain, and... Perfect shot and catastrophe. Now, perfect shot is also pretty much mandatory skill to keep. Keep. So you have a choice between catastrophe, shotgun, rapid fire, and bullet rain, right? Uh, and the combat. As for combat stats, really quickly, it's high crit and then spec rest and no swiftness. Uh, and the engraving being 
and the engraving being Peacemaker level 3 with level 2 on Adrenaline. This is the highest ceiling build. Uh, and now, what I'm going to do is I used to have Shotgun Rapid Fire, Perfect Shot, and Catastrophe. Uh, I can actually keep on using this, uh, but I kind of want to switch it up and remove Shotgun Rapid Fire to Bullet Rain because I wanted to use both Bullet Rain and Shotgun Rapid Fire moving away from Catastrophe, but that requires my Life Absorption, which is in Quick Step, to be level 1 from 13.8% to 5%, which is smoke. I did not want that. Uh, I want my gunslinger to be more, com like, I don't want to lose more comfort than it already is. Therefore, my choice of skills is going to be bullet rain, perfect shot, and catastrophe after the PTR change. Okay? But after more realistic, when you guys have uh, Bro Shots of Heart coming out with the ancient accessories, these are more a reliable builds that you can actually hope for, which is Peacemaker 3 with Adrenaline 1 or Peacemaker 1 with Adrenaline 3. The verdict here is these two are about the same because the choice of skills is not going to change much, as much anyway. You are going to have Perfect Shot and you're going to have Bullet Rain for the DPS Goblinos, right? You want you want that highest, you're a DPS class. You want, you want a lot of DPS. Uh, if you want to have Shotgun Rapid Fire, you're going to have Life Assertion Level 1. If you're going to have Catastrophe, you're going to have Life Resurgent Level 5. That's the only difference. Uh, so based on your comfort and preferences, you should choose in between. But the build engraving itself should not be as seriously discussed of what's better. Other than that, again, if you're on the 5-3 range, all the 5-3s uh, range, they're all about the same. They should be built based on budget, as in try to save as much money as you can uh, so that when you guys are upgrading, you can spend the money there. I would try to be very conservative and just get that five threes done with the decent amount of quality on the accessories so that when you guys upgrade, uh, you can spend that extra gold uh, to get that boost, right? So you would just try to get the TTH going or, or, or Peacemaker going. But at the same time, Peacemaker might be cheaper. The reason being is because crit accessories are cheaper. Uh, time to hunt, this is all high spec, and, and spec accessories tend to be a little bit more expensive. If you're going for TTH on 5.3, maybe you can play Peacemaker uh, on, on 5.3 area, and when ancient accessories drop, and then you get to have a 5.3s and a 1, maybe time to hunt's a good choice. But the thing is, if you happen to have you know a lot of budget and you want to play TTH, you can have the uh, confidence on the performance of like worrying about, oh, am I going to... Because you guys are going to be spending a lot of money when you buy accessories, right? And then you want to confirm uh, from people who already have the build is, you know, you don't have to worry about my build doing bad compared to other builds. Uh, and don't worry about spending that big money on TTH because it's going to deliver what you want to do. So with that, I think that that summarizes the whole thing. Cool. So let's play. You, you have anything to say lastly? Uh, no purse. No, 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 no personal. No purse. <laughs> okay. I mean, Lost Boy did a giga chat job by listing all this stuff up. Basically, I gave him a here chat. Let me show you this. This is what I wrote to Lost Boy on the Discord. Hey man, I'm gonna do uh. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do DPS rec top to bottom. I was hitting some scarecrows. These are the lists that I put. And then and then Lost Boy goes Giga Chat. Okay. He donk walks to the Google spreadsheet and just put all this stuff in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's going to make a TTH guy. So for those of you guys who are interested in TTH further, uh, you guys should check Lost Boy's channel. Uh you should Lost Boy, uh when we upload the video, you should add your channel too. Just say like, you know, if you wanna look at like TTH. Uh, put your link there so that uh, for those of you guys who are more interested in TTH, you can check Lost Boy's guide on the TTH section. But mine's more are based on Peacemaker. Is that it? Yep, yep. What do you think? Okay, cool. So with that being said, this concludes the Peacemaker builds discussion uh, and a mission to change my particular build. And we have found, found out, we have wrapped up with all this, all the mysteries that we have wanted to do. And this concludes it out. All right, guys. Thank you, everyone.
拜拜。Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>